What if I told you there's a simple way to uncover hidden services your competitors aren't even thinking about targeting? Well, today I'm breaking down the exact process to find low competition, high demand services that will put your local business ahead of the game. Now, this video will help you find a niche which is untapped, full of potential with very low competition. Now, if you're new here, hi, I'm Kurt from One Base Media, and for over a decade, we've been helping local businesses get more leads, more customers, and ultimately make more money. Now, our videos reveal tips for local businesses to boost their online presence and also help agencies and freelancers streamline their operations to get some amazing results for their clients. So if you find our content useful, remember to like it and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a video. Right, so first head over to SEMrush and search for your core service and location. So if you're a plumber in London, you'll type in plumber London in the search bar and you'll see that it gets about 2,900 searches a month a solid keyword to target. Now scroll down and click on view all keywords. From there, sort the keywords by keyword difficulty and set the easiest ones at the top. You'll be looking for keywords that are not only low in difficulty, but also have a decent search volume. As you can see, this keyword, Emergency Plumber East London, has 880 monthly searches and 17% keyword difficulty. Now, this is an excellent keyword to target because it's commercial in 10, low competition and decent traffic. It's got all three. Next, copy that keyword to ChatGPT and type in this prompt. Give me 10 company names for emergency plumber East London. Once you have all the suggestions, put in this prompt. Include all the keywords in the domain. Take one of the generated domain names and check its availability on GoDaddy. Now, as you can see, East London Emergency Plumber of the Current UK is available. This domain name is a perfect match. It aligns directly with our target keyword and has a strong potential to rank well. Now we go to Google to check out the competition for this exact keyword. So we'll search for Emergency Plumber East London. You can see companies like Plumbers For You, Emergency Plumber South East London, East End Plumbers, and Home Cure Plumbers. All of these websites have pages for East London, but they aren't exact matches to the target keyword. This makes it easier for our domain to outrank them with a well-optimized website. Once you've purchased the domain, you'll start planning your website and content strategy. We'll use this Google Sheet to organize everything. I'll share this Google Sheet in the video description. In the first column, add your domain link. Below that, put it in your homepage and label it as homepage in the page type column. All right, so after setting up our homepage, the next thing we need are the main navigation and service pages for our website. So you want to go back to ChatGPT and type in this prompt. Give me 20 services a plumber knows. Now ChatGPT will give us a list of suggestions, things like leak detection, drain unblocking, water heater installation and repair, pipe installation and repair, and more. You can take this list and pick the services that you want to offer for your company. You can decide which one of these services fits your business model best and start putting them into the Google Sheet. Another way to find out services for your company is to head over to Google and search for your core service. For instance, Palmas London. Then check out the top ranking websites and see what services they're offering. We can see that this company is offering emergency plumbing services, plumbing repairs, and installations on their main navigation bar. Now, if you also offer these services, you want to start adding them onto your Google machine. So now we'll start adding these services, such as plumbing installations, plumbing repairs, damp and leak detection, drain unblocking, sink unblocking, toilet unblocking, and more, all onto our sheet. Now we're gonna label all of these as main navigation in the page type column. After creating the main navigation, we have to build location pages. Now these location pages are crucial for targeting specific areas within East London. So go back to ChatGPT once again and put in this prompt. Give me all the boroughs in East London. Once you have the list of the boroughs, you can use this prompt. Put emergency plumbers in front of all these keywords. This will generate location-based service pages that you can directly copy and paste into our Google Sheet and label them as local service pages. These pages will target specific areas and help you rank for location-based searches. Next, we'll need to have an About Us page, then a Coverage page, which will link to all of our local service pages, making it easy for visitors to find the servicing in their area. After that, a Services page, which will link to all the main navigation services, acting as a hub for everything you offer. And lastly, we're gonna have a contact page. This one will obviously display your contact details such as phone number, email, and address, making it super easy for potential customers to contact you. Then we'll label all of these as info pages. All right, so now that we've set up our main navigation, service pages, and location pages, the next step is to build our blogs. Now blogs are a fantastic way to target additional keywords answer customer questions, and build authority in your niche. To find blog ideas, the first thing we'll do is head over to Google and search for our main keyword, which is Plumber East London. Then we're gonna scroll down to the people also ask section. 
Here you can see the frequently asked questions that potential customers are searching for. Things like, how much does a plumber charge per hour in London? So we'll take this question and we'll add it to our Google Sheet. Then we'll go back to the people also asked section and grab another question. So this one here, what is the average call out fee for a plumber in London? For this video, I'm only gonna use two questions, but in your case, you want to go through all the questions listed in this people also asked section, answer each question in the form of a blog post using your expertise and years of experience in the industry. Next, we'll want to create some general topic blogs about East London. This will help Google's algorithm know that our business is located in the East London area, which in turn will rank our website higher. Again, we'll go back to Google and search for history of East London, then scroll down to the people also ask and copy all of these questions. What is the history of East London? What is so special about East London? Why is East London so popular? And then put them in our Google sheet and mark them as blogs. All right, so now that we've built the whole content strategy for the website, the next step is to actually start building out all of these pages one by one. First, you're going to open up your Google Drive and create a folder like this, where content for each of your pages will be stored. Now this folder will have all the content that's going to be uploaded to the site. For example, you'll open up a Google Doc in this folder, put the title as homepage, and then write out the entire content. Once the homepage is done, the next step is to write the other pages. Start with the About Us page and other info pages, and then move on to all your main service pages, such as plumbing installations. Now, each of these pages needs to be written out in detail, so make sure they're at least 750 words long. As you go through, you'll write the content for each page one by one. Once you finish writing the content for a page, you're going to tick it off in the Google Sheet. There's a column where your marker page is written once the content is complete. After that, when the content has been uploaded to the site, you'll check another box to mark it as uploaded. This way you can systematically track your progress and make sure nothing gets missed. So that's the process. Build out the pages, write at least 750 words per page and track your progress in your sheet. So now that we've got all of our content ready, the next step will be to build a website. You can choose to build the website on any platform, WordPress, Wix, or whatever you're comfortable with. That said, we definitely recommend using a platform called Go High Level. It's super versatile and allows you to build as many sites as you want. Plus it's really user friendly for navigation and site building. So go to your Go High Level account and click on add new website. From there you can start with the template. Simply type in home, since this is a home service business and you'll find a bunch of templates. Pick the one that works best for you and click continue. Once you've selected the template, it will pull up the default page. Now you can start customizing it. Change the logo, update the address and add your social media links. For example, this template shows an air conditioning image. Swap out that for a plumbing related image. Update the text, change all the placeholder content and insert your own business details. After customizing the home page, you'll move on to building out the rest of the site by creating new pages for all the sections you need. So go to the dashboard and clone the services page and rename it in the settings to one of your services like plumbing installations and then update that page. Once the new page is set, click on edit and paste all the content you've written for the plumbing installations page. Add all the necessary details and then publish the page. Repeat this process for all of your pages until the entire website is built. Once it's done, you'll have a fully functional, professional looking website ready. The next thing you're going to do, if you haven't already, is get yourself an address or a location. Now, this is actually super important for setting up your business presence online. What you want to do is head over to Google and type in virtual addresses London. This will pull up a bunch of options where you can rent a cheap office space or even just a virtual office. The key here is to ensure that the address comes with a proper post box or mail handling service. If it doesn't, it's not going to work because you won't be able to get your business listed on Google Business Profile. If you're looking for something more physical, you can check out Rightmove. Search for East London and sort the results by lowest price. You can see these small office spaces starting at around £300 a month. That's for a very basic tiny office, but it can work if you're just starting out. There are options at £350 a month as well, giving you a bit more space. Now, that might sound like a lot of money, but think about the return. If you're ranking well on Google and putting in a ton of leads, this cost will easily pay for itself. And here's why the office space matters. Let's say someone searches for emergency plumber in East London. When you're setting up a Google business profile, you'll need a legitimate address for your business. This is what helps you show up in the Google Map Pack, which is this little box with the top three local results and Google. If you check the map pack for East London, you'll see listings like Emergency Plumber East London with 143 reviews. That's where you want to be, right at the top. These listings get loads of clicks and being here is worth the effort. So your goal is to rank in two places, the map pack for local visibility, the organic or natural search listings. Now once you've secured an address, whether it's a small physical office or a virtual one, you'll use that to create your business profile. 
Further down the line, you could also run paper lead campaigns through Google Guarantee Ads, which is another great way to generate high quality leads. But first, focus on being the go-to plumber in East London by ranking in those search results. The next step is building out directory citations. First, you'll start by filling up this Google sheet of LinkedIn in the description. This sheet will include all your company details, your company name, address, the website you just built, and your phone number. One thing to note, you'll need a proper London number. You can easily get this by using a service like Twilio to get a virtual number, which you can plug into your phone system. This way, when someone calls, it gets routed directly to you, but it will show as a London number. In this sheet, you'll also enter keywords related to your business, a compelling company description, and links to any images you plan to use. Drag and drop those images into a shared Google Drive folder, then paste them into the folder into the sheet for easy access. On the second time of this sheet, I've compiled a list of 200 directories. Your job is to systematically go through each of these and submit your business information. Fill out the required fields in each directory, live link status, email address, passwords, usernames, and any relevant notes. Next, you'll search on Google for East London directory. Look for directories like East London Info Directory or East London Business Directory and get your business listed there as well. Additionally, search for niche directories by typing in plumbing directory and then aim to get your business listed on all of the directories that are relevant to your business. These directories not only help improve your search rankings, but also establish your presence in the local community. The goal is to dominate search results for plumbers in East London, both through organic rankings and directory listings. And this is how you pull in a steady stream of leads for a low competition, high search volume service. Thank you for watching until the end. I hope you got a lot out of the video. So our goal here is to help you generate the best quality leads so you can fill out your diary with more customers and grow your business. And that's it from me. And by the way, if lead generation is a problem for you right now, then I've left a link in the description that will help you solve that problem in under three minutes. I want to say a big thank you again for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please like and subscribe and also leave a comment in the comment section. We read and respond to all the comments we get. Have a great day.